Okay, we're gonna use this geometer sketch pad uh, applet here to take a look at steepness and slope and how they're related. Okay, I have two lines and their slope is measured. You can only see one of them right now because the slope is the same for both M1, slope 1, M2, slope 2. Okay, this becomes decently simple. If you notice, the slopes are the same, so that you really can't tell the difference between the lines, but if I make this one 5, uh, the blue one, and the red one is now 6, we see that the red one is a little steeper. Similarly, if I make the blue one 3, and the red one 2, we now see that the blue is in fact a little steeper. We should be starting to notice here that the larger number has the steeper slope. And that tends to make sense. 6 is bigger than 3, and the red line is steeper than the blue line. Now the only place that you probably guess that this gets a little bit weird is when we get into negatives, because in fact something like negative uh, 5 is not actually bigger than 2. But the one thing you notice here is that the slope of the line that is blue here, the negative 5, it is steeper than the one whose slope is 2. Similarly here, if you notice here, negative 7 is not, excuse me, negative 6 is not bigger than negative 5, but it's in fact steeper. So how do we resolve this in an easy way? Well, it's real simple. We just use the absolute value of these numbers. Okay? So if you notice here, we look at the absolute value of the slope of both the red and blue. Okay? So let's just take a look here. So if I have a slope of negative uh, 2 for the red line and a slope of negative 3 for the blue line, we see that the absolute value of these, the blue slope, is bigger. Because its absolute value is 3, while the red one's absolute value is 2. And we also see that the blue line is steeper. So, even though the numbers that we're actually looking at the slopes, negative 3 and negative 2, that negative 3 is not bigger than negative 2, it's hard to gauge which one is steeper without looking at its absolute values over here. Okay, So we're not trying to change the slope to the absolute value, we're just trying to consider the absolute value of the slope. So actually let's see here if we took a slope of negative 7, uh, excuse me, a slope of negative 6 and a slope of negative 5, their absolute values would be 6 and 5. So 6 being bigger, it's going to be steeper. So here um, also, if we see here, this is a situation where we have a slope of negative 2 and negative 1. Well, if you just look at the absolute values of 2 and 1, the one that is red is the one whose absolute value is 2. That one is steeper. So again, anytime we're dealing with steepness and slope, it's really simple. So we see the slope whose absolute value is bigger is steeper. Coincidentally, uh, excuse me, similarly, the slope whose absolute value is smaller is flatter. So that's all you really need to know about steepness and how it relates to the number representing slope. Mike.